Yo, what is up guys? It's me Graffiti here and I am back with a new tutorial and this one I'm going to show you how to have FX damage your player. So this is a very easy tutorial. Um, so let's just get right into it and let me show you what I am talking about. So if you notice I have fire right here and if I come to the front of the car and jump nothing happens but when I go inside of the fire I start getting uh, damaged. So now I'm very red and I am about to go down. So yeah, let me just show you how to do this. So next we're gonna wanna go back into, we wanna open up our radiant that we are going to wanna apply this to. You do not have to apply this just to FX, um, but this is very good to apply to most FX. So if you're going to do fires, I would recommend putting this with your fires or if you're doing like some sort of gas chamber and you want the gas to hurt the player, then um, this, is, this will definitely come in handy for you guys. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually have your FX or wherever you want to have the damage applied to the player at. So for me, I want it right here where the fire is at, but I don't want it to apply in the front of the car or the back. I just want it to apply to these windows and to the top where the, where the fire is actually at, where it can actually burn you. So to do that, next we're, we can do two things. We can either drag on a box or we can go into our entity browser and we can go to trigger hurt and we can just drag this hurt right here onto the onto the ground but what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw me a brush and you want this brush to be a little bit um, you want it to make sure that you can actually walk inside of it so like I have a clip on this car so if I were to put it inside of the car this uh, this brush inside of the car it would not affect because the player cannot go inside of the trigger so you want to make sure that the player can actually go inside this trigger um, so now that you once you have your brush how you would like it um, which mine is looking pretty good right now it's covering about all of the FX that I was wanting uh, wanting this apply to you're just going to either double click or drag on the hurt onto this highlighted brush and now that you uh, now you'll have a trigger right here if you can notice in my on my screen um, it says trigger you're going to want to change the damage up so five is very weak so um, I would recommend doing about 20 to 25 and that will do a four to three hit down so uh, for me I'm gonna do 20 um, next you're gonna want to apply this uh, right here you can either apply this or not apply it but it, it says slow and what this is is you can either have the fire or the or the hurt box damage you very slowly or you can have it damage you very fast so I'm, I want it to be slow so I'm just gonna click slow next you're gonna want to go to your script hazard and you're going to want to add your hazard so for me this is a heat you can do oxygen uh, radiation which is gas and biohazard which is like chemicals um, so I'm just gonna do heat and then you're just gonna click control s and save it and once you do that you're all done so just go to your mod tools launcher uh, click on the map that you applied this uh, hurt box to or this FX and then just compile link uh, compile light link and run and just click build so yeah guys that's it please leave a like comment and sub if you enjoyed this tutorial or if it helped you out um, in my next one, I most likely will be showing you how to change the mystery box model. So yeah, guys, keep on mapping and subscribe. Peace.